Today we're going to create a face for our love monster. Now on the very first day of this project, we spent some time sort of planning out the way we wanted our face to look. If you want to change your plan, that is of course okay, but today we are going to have to choose what kind of shapes we are going to be adding to the front of our monster. Now to start, you are going to get a few pieces of felt. You're going to get white for the eyes. You're going to get a piece of black that can be the pupils of the eyes and the mouth and eyebrows. And then you also get one extra color choice. So if you have like an extra little detail like a heart or something else you want to add to your love monster, you do have one more color to choose. And then also there are many little random scraps that you can use as well. So to begin, I'm going to start with my white eyes. And I want to make sure that I draw my shapes today before I cut them out, especially big important shapes like the eyes. So I'm going to actually lay the white on top of the face so that when I sketch these eye shapes out, I make sure that they are the right size and shape. So I'm just going to use a pencil that draws pretty well on the felt. We know some pencils work better than others, so if your pencil's not working very well, just try to get another one. And I'm just gonna sketch out lightly an eye shape that I like. Now, if I want both of my eye shapes to be the same, I could cut this out and then trace it on another area of white so they'd be the same, but I actually am gonna kinda go for different sizes on this one. I noticed in the Love Monster illustrations the illustrator kind of made them different sizes sometimes and that's kind of fun. Now that doesn't show up super dark, but we know that's a good thing. We don't want our pencil lines to be really, really dark and show up a lot on this felt. So if it's light, that's okay. It just needs to be dark enough that you can see to carefully cut it out. When my eyes are cut out, I'm going to actually flip them over so that you can't see even that little tiny bit of pencil line. I want that to be hidden as much as I can. And I'm going to lay them out just to make sure that I'm liking the way this is turning out. Now we're going to move on to the black felt. And I'm going to use this to make my mouth. Now we're going to use a white pencil to draw on the black felt so that it will show up just a little bit. And you can make your love monster whatever like emotion that you want. In some parts of the story he's happy, in some parts he's sad. So I, for one thing, I think I'm going to make him happy. And then the other thing I have to think about is if I want my love monster's mouth to be just like a smile like this, I have to keep in mind that I can't just cut out a line for a mouth like that. If I'm gonna cut something out of felt, it has to be a shape. So if I want my mouth to be a smile, I'm gonna have to, instead of just have a line, basically make it like a really skinny rectangle that's curved up like a smile or a frown, whatever you want. And then that's what I'm gonna cut out. Now I actually have a different plan for this love monster. I'm gonna make him have kind of more of an open mouth. So it's sort of almost like a semicircle shape. So I'm just gonna draw that on with my white pencil until it's just dark enough that I can cut it out. Once again, it doesn't really show up that much, but that is a good thing. Now that my mouth is cut out, once again, I'm gonna flip it over so that I can't see any of those pencil marks. Now that I have my big important shapes on my face, I'm going to use my scraps to create pupils for the eyes, little eyebrows, and I'm gonna cut some little white triangles for teeth. If you wanna draw these shapes out ahead of time, you can, but sometimes for the little shapes, I like to just kinda of go in and cut them without drawing first because usually the little shapes are a little bit easier to cut. Once you have all your fabulous pieces cut out and you like the way it looks, we are ready to start gluing pieces on. Now we're going to be using some special glue called tacky glue today and it's really good for gluing fabric pieces together. Now it is a lot thicker than regular glue so you're going to have to hold it upside down for a long time to get the glue to come to the tip. And actually when I'm not using it, I don't like to stand it up on its end. I lay it down on its side. That way the glue still kind of stays down here and you won't have to spend so much time shaking. So anyway, I'm just gonna pick up one piece at a time and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of glue around the edge. 
doesn't really take a lot. Just a few little dots like usual. And then we can glue the pieces in place. Now, just like with regular glue, we want to try really hard not to have any glue visible on the felt. We want it to all be underneath and hidden. So just make sure that you are not using too much. And just press your items into place. So I'm just going to keep on gluing with tiny dots of glue until all of my pieces are glued on. When you're done gluing on all your pieces and pressing them into place, we can leave our project to dry. Don't forget to make sure that your name is still on the back of your monster.